This is practical exercise showing how to get and display covariance data from ENDF data libraries using web database retrieval system with plotting package web ZVU. We start from this internet address and come to uh, ENDF retrieval system. We can use prepared examples, opening this box and clicking on example number 7. We can change material if necessary using help box. For example, in this case we use Iridium 193 and we select quantity our quantity is covariance of neutron cross sections when we define criteria for search then we submit request and find data in EMDF database we can immediately plot file 33 data and this is covariance matrix correlation matrix we can select range and we can see plotted data in HTML format so negative numbers are in red and positive in black color we can change view and other parameters of plot for example in this case we select 3D then make outer range and change color schema to standard we can also put our plot to clipboard to use it later now for example I can generate 3D animated plot and by using normal operation like um, drag and drop rotate my picture what else we can do in this moment we see here cross-section uncertainties and if necessary we can call interactive plot of this and cross-section itself with errors showing as uh, cloud we can also analyze file 33 structure in this case it is simple and we see that due using uh, Sylvester criterion we can state that this matrix is non-positive definite now I'm going to select another data set and compare two uh, data sets so I will take end to end reaction from Tendo library and display it now I see another library I can also change view for example to squares and select standard now I will show how to see and analyze uh, data structure so we take this file 33 structure and we see description what's inside I can call plotting package for cross-sections and also get numbers in simple column uh, text file and also I can um, get cross-section uncertainties in this case we have uh, two components and summary some of them so now I'm going to split them on the plot and show them by parts so I split them 
and so I can change the scale for example to display them better and I have a lot of different possibilities for data display so now we have um, covariance correlation matrix from um, Tendel 2008 and we can compare it this data with the data which we stored previously in clipboard from indmb 7 library so I just click paste and repaint now I have two data sets on the screen I select another view and I can change size of my picture for example increasing X range so I select here 1000 I can also change here the view type of view to um, 3D plot and run animation prepare animation now I have animated 3D plot and I can again drag and drop using left mouse button to select the best view I can also use this place in order to get fixed angle for example minus 60 degree what else I can do for example if I need to take this um, plot to PowerPoint presentation I just say copy image then call PowerPoint and paste it here which is animated on your in your PowerPoint presentation now we return back to internet browser and see what else we can do with our image so I delete second picture and return back to the original size we can also see the correlation between different reactions and get another type of um, formats on the screen so now it's simple data in triangle shown as triangle and also you can get data prepared for reading by Fortran program I will increase this view and you see this is matrix for reading Fortran in Fortran program and at the end we see also piece of Fortran code is showing how to read data it is really trivial process then to write program reading this data what could also be useful is to get data in again in uh, uh, NDF6 format but in one uh, fixed format using low5 so you can see this data contain now only one type of component and if you have reading program which will read the NDF6 format you will get it without separation to complex component so this law which you saw in, in previous picture will be converted to one single presentation type presentation format in principle that's all